Hi, Kat here again. Tonight I'm making curry noodles, curry noodle soup. It's called kapun. There's many different ways of making this recipe, but these are the ingredients that you will need to make what I'm making tonight. Okay, so let's begin. I have here three tablespoons of chopped garlic, one and a half can of Thai red curry, okay, one tablespoon of Korean chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of MSG, three tablespoons of chicken bouillon seasoning, and these here are New Zealand um, green shell mussels. I have about eight pieces of these, okay, so eight pieces. One and a half pound of pork shoulder meat, about four to five pieces of um, galanga, okay. Two stalks of lemongrass, about six to eight kapha lamb leaves, and we'll start out with one can of coconut milk. They also come um, in this coconut cream. It's the same thing, but um, I'm just gonna start out with one can first, okay? You also need half of an onion, two stalks of celery, and this here is chicken feet that's already been pre-boiled, um, about eight pieces, okay? And one whole Dungeness crab, clean and pulled apart. All right, so these are the ingredients you will need. Okay, so next what you wanna do is heat up a pan with one teaspoon of oil and brown your pork meat like this, okay? Brown it until it's like this. And pour it into this um, boiling water. It's about 14 cups of boiling water I have going right there, okay? And you wanna add your onions and celery. The seasoning and the The kapha lime leaf and the lemongrass and the galanga, okay? So, and then bring all of this to a boil. Next, you want to um, preheat a pan and add about three tablespoons of cooking oil and add in your chopped garlic. And you want to get this to fry up a little bit until it's a little bit golden. And in the meantime, you want to go ahead also add the um, Thai curry, okay? This will bring out the flavor and the smell, the aroma. Okay, so, sorry guys, what happened was I thought I was recording it as I was cooking the uh, curry and the garlic, but it didn't record. So, anyways, what, what I did was I cooked the garlic until it was golden. I added the uh, Thai red curry, and then as the Thai red curry was getting um, cooked, infused with the garlic, I added about a half can of the coconut cream to it, okay? And then I just go ahead and let it cook for a little bit for about 30 seconds more and then I just add it into this pot, All right? So that's what happened. Sorry about that guys. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken feet. And the crab, okay? Okay, now it's time to add the um, Korean chili powder and the paprika. This will give it the nice red color, okay? And you can always add more if you think it's not red enough to your liking. And also, this is the time to also add more of the, um, any of the seasoning that you think it's missing. Um, if you need salt, you can add more, either the chicken bouillon or fish sauce. Or you can even add more of the coconut milk if you want it more creamier. Okay, so I'm just going to add and stick with that, just that one can of coconut. And lastly, what you want to add is your mussel. You want to do this last because this is already um, 
not cook, not cook yet, but it doesn't take long to cook. So you want to add this last. So once uh, you feel that your pork is completely cooked, the crab's completely cooked, then you want to go ahead and just add this last. Okay. So and basically, this is how I make my kaput with crab. Thanks for watching. I hope you will like this recipe. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you next time.